Hi there, Kit here, and welcome to Undertale. Um, now, full disclaimer, I know the story to this. I have watched Jacksepticeye play it, and so I kind of pretty much know what to do. But, I'm playing this because there's some people who are subscribed to my channel who have not seen it. And it's a wonderful story with wonderful music and great writing. Now, don't be fooled by its look. It's got that retro, you know, 8-bit kind of look or whatever, but it's it's phenomenal. Honestly, it really is. So, uh, let's just jump right into it. Hopefully, I have everything configured correctly. Uh, name the fallen human. Uh, I'm just going to put in Kit because that's what I might go to. Kit. Done. Yes. Oh, just wait till you guys see this. You're in for a treat. I love it. Look at me. Ooh, so speedy. I'm so glad. I'm so be happy to be finally playing this game. Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the flower! I'm going to do horrible with the voices, I'm sorry. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly! You must be so confused! Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! You got it, Flowey. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can go strong, grow strong, if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Oh, Flowey, you're so sweet. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Oh no, Flowey! You idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? <sighs> Die! Flowey, you are a sack of shit. And, oh, what happened? I love that sound he makes. Ah! <laughs> what a terrible creature, torturing a poor, such a poor, innocent youth. I can't speak. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. You got it, Toriel. Anybody else think it looks like she's holding a mushroom in front of her? She, she's not. It's part of her, like, clothing or whatever. It's just the way her arms are. It looks like she's holding a weird mushroom. This way. You got it, Toriel. Let's go. Okay, come on, Goat Mom. She is always and forever going to be Goat Mom. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Let's save first and foremost. Always save your stuff. Let's go, Toriel. Show me. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. You push buttons and you flick a switch. Got it. <laughs> the ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. First it looked like it said donkeys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay, I'm fully adjusted. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. So essentially, we're getting coddled. Uh, press Z to resign. Uh, I'm using a controller, so it's different for me, thanks. Hmm, I wonder which one it is. Please press this switch. Toriel. <laughs> you got it, Toriel. <laughs> this game is just so... No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. <laughs> Point now. <laughs> Splendid, I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Switch doesn't even work. <laughs> Damn. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay, now the, you can play this game one of two. You can play this game two ways. Oh, I got my mouse on the screen. Sorry, guys. I don't know how 
that's coming in through the recording. Um, you can play this game one or two ways. You can play what's called the pacifist route, and you can play what's called the genocide route. I'm going to play this game twice on the channel. I want you guys to see the full story, and that will require me to play this game twice. Um, the first one I'm going to go through is the pacifist route. So I'm not going to kill anything, I'm not going to attack, I'm going to literally talk my way and be nice my way out of fights. So you'll see what, what I'm talking about. You encountered the dummy. Yeah, I'm, no, I don't want to fight. Act. Act on the dummy. Talk to it. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. <laughs> Toriel seems happy with you. You won! Zero XP and zero gold. That's gonna be like a pretty big thing. Zero XP and zero gold, so. Uh, ah, very good. You are very good. Uh, thank you. I, I like getting all this praise. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Uh, I don't need to. You're gonna solve it for me. Because you are coddling me. Oh, Froggit. Let's talk to the Froggit. Uh, compliment him. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. <laughs> Just look at her come on in here and just like she just mean mugs him and he goes away. <laughs> Good job, Toriel. <laughs> she just comes in, she's like, mm. she gives him that mom look. This pu this is a puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Which is adorable. She's holding on to our little itty hand and it's so cute. She's like kinda looking back. It looks like she's looking back at us, like, oh you sweet little thing. <sighs> Goat mom. It's best mom. Let's go, Goat Mom. Thank you. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Yeah. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. You got it, Toriel. I would like you to walk to the end of this room by yourself. Forgive me for this. It's fine. <laughs> I just gotta walk straight. This is a, like the music in here is so good. I uh, love like the H, the 80s retro kind of sounding music. I love it. And this, the music is so well done. And this, Toby Fox, you did amazing. Uh, this is a forever long hallway. She just comes from behind the only pillar in the room. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me, however, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. I don't know what kind of reception they get here down underground. Um, be good, alright? Yeah, you got it. You got it. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Yeah, you got it, Toriel. But I am going to talk to this froggit. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act in a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, you some mercy, human. Baby, you got it. Uh, before I do that, ah, damn it. <laughs> a whimsum. Okay, whimsum. I can already spare whimsum. So, like, when their name is yellow, you can go to mercy and you can hit spare. I can already spare them. Whimsum's easy. Uh, ooh, monster candy. It says take one. Take a piece of candy. Yes, you took a piece of candy. Press C. I don't have. Okay, it's that one. Um, so I do have the monster candy, and you can like click on it and you can go to like monster candy candy heals 10 hp has a distant non-licorice flavor that's too bad i actually like licorice a lot of people don't but i do uh playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination hp fully restored yay um you'll see that a lot is like various things fill you with determination it's great frog it hopped close oh no he got close uh compliment the frog it he didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply, Ribbit. Oh, now I gotta actually um, avoid attacks. Ooh. Frogget seems reluctant to fight you. Good. <laughs> okay, yeah, you'll have to avoid attacks. <laughs> and they can get 
it can get hard. I got two gold for that one. Yay. If you get even one EXP, you're automatically not doing the true pacifist route anymore. So, that is a heads up. If anybody goes to play this game and you want to do the true pacifist route, don't don't fight like that. Don't ever kill anything. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Um, I like both. Butterscotch can be on the sweet side sometimes, so I'm going to go with cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. And... Hello? This is Toriel. You don't need to tell me who you are every time. I can recognize you by your voice. And I only have your number. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? No, I would not. Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. <sighs> yes. I don't care. Push that. Oh, I want to read the sign because it's funny. Whimsum. Cool. Go over and spare. Get out of my face, Whimsum. I didn't get any gold for that. Okay, this. Three out of four gray rocks. Recommend you push them. <laughs> it's got that cute little witty sense of humor, and I love it. All right, this one. Uh, I'm trying to remember the path. Let's see if I got it. Got it, baby. If you go the path wrong, you'll fall. All right, let's push these. Okay. Two froggets. We're moving up. Compliment. Froggy didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blush deeply. Hop, hop. Uh, uh, don't, don't, no. Ooh, ooh. The battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed. Froggit. Compliment. Yeah, it, it, it's flattered. Cool. One frog it meowed. What? Okay, good. Spare. There we go. You can spare one of a one at a time if you think the battle's gonna be too hard, and um, that way it eliminates one of the attacks because they attack at the same time. So, yeah. Push. And whoa, there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm. So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Okay, a little bit more, please. Hmm, you want to be moved some more? Alrighty, how's this? Wrong way! You even moved me with it. Hmm, that was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Thank you. Okay, and- Oh, sneaky little hobbitses! Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Thanks. <laughs> Even the rocks have personalities. <laughs> mold small. Okay, and you can just automatically spare mold smalls. Mold smalls and winsomes you can automatically spare. You won't really come across that a lot in the game. You have to actually work for it. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Everything fills me with determination. See? This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Ooh. <gasps> oh, you are a sweetie. Z -z 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 are they gone yet? Z -z 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 -z. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force. You have to, unfortunately. Here comes Naps to Blook. His, his uh, name is like a uh, play on... Uh, if you remember, I don't know how if anybody you guys remember Napster, the uh, music sharing thing. Um, cheer him on. You get you to cheer him on. You gave Napster look a patient smile. Heh. <laughs> okay. His stuff can be quite difficult sometimes to uh, to get away from to dodge. Napster book looks just a little bit better. You keep cheering him. You told Napster book a little joke. Heh. <laughs> Don't. I'm really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you got it, Napster. That was like great. It seems to have improved his mood again. Cheer him on again. Napster look wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Blook. <laughs> do you like it? I do. I love it. Napster look eagerly awaits your response. Cheer. Oh, gee. 
I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met someone nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Nap super looks awesome. I don't need to go there because I think. Oh yeah, yeah, I gotta go here first. Do I even have enough money? Spider big sale. All proceeds goes to real spiders. I have six gold. Okay, I want to do this, so I am going to see about maybe fighting a little bit and get a little bit more gold if I can. Let's see here. I don't know where I can go to fight though, because I don't think the I think these are safe areas. Um, is this a safe area? Is it? Is it? Oh hi. Okay, my got. The mold small I can automatically take care of, so I'm just gonna spare that one automatically. I forgot what to do with you. La la, just be yourself. Oh, I just gotta let him dance. Yeah, spare. <laughs> I got two more gold. Cool. I can go. I can go put a thingy in there. That'll help me with a uh, future uh, thing. Yes. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. I got spider donut. Yay. Okay. Um, talk. Yeah. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. Well, I'm not pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Alright, I don't want to do all these guys. They just tell you how to spare people and stuff like that. Luke's! Luke's! Don't pick on them. Finally, somebody gets it, is what he usually says. Uh, okay. He's staring right through me. Spare him. Those guys are back and forth. Some of them will be like, oh, so pick on me, and some of them will be, don't pick on him. So, it's a toss-up. Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Yeah, I know. You essentially told me I have limited inventory space. Thanks, Toriel. There's just one switch. Yeah, I know, but I want to go... I think down here is where I can get a, an armor. Yeah, there's a Vegetoid up there. Armor! Faded Ribbon! Um, let's go check that out. What does it do? Armor, defense 3. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. Seems legit. I mean, yeah. I equipped the Ribbon, and the thing I had on before that, I think it was, yeah, Bandage. What does it say on that one? Heals 10 HP. Has already been used several times. Ooh. Ooh. Now I need to go talk to Naps. Took a look. Vegetoid. Uh, I think it's dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat chickens. Uh, uh, uh. Give me that green. Ow. <laughs> Vegetoid's here for your health. Okay. <laughs> I shouldn't have gotten hit there, but I did. Ugh. I got four gold, though. Let's go talk to Napstablook. Because Napstablook is awesome. Hey. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait. Ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh. <laughs> Napstablook, you're adorable. Alright, we're gonna go right here. We're gonna f flick the switch. And now we get to go. It unlocked right here. Oh, this one. Uh, the far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. But remember, the whole room rotates. So you gotta remember where everything is. Kind of. Because down here is just a flip, kind of flip version of the room we're already in. Uh, don't pick on. Oh, I skipped through this dialogue again. Luke's, you are not important enough to talk to. Uh, I'm just flying through this. Flying. Alright, let's just keep going. Okay. Now, this is going to tell you, if you can read this, press the blue switch. Well, I don't. I see green and I see red. Blue has to be up behind the other thing. All right, can you... Ah, my dog's pushing me. Zelda, <laughs> you rude. <gasps> Finally, somebody gets it. Yeah. Uh, ooh, ooh, okay. I'm getting pretty lucky with this, honestly. Okay, I, I said okay. Let's, uh... It's a switch. Press it. Yes. You hear a clicking sound. If you press the wrong one, you fall into a hole and you have to go back to the beginning of the rooms. 
Um, this one you're gonna want me to press... Red. Got it. Piss. Oh, Luke's and Co. decided to pick on you. Okay. Um, the Vegetoid I can get rid of by saying dinner. Pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. You don't want to be picked on. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Gimme! 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 It, it gave me a little bit of health back. Luke's is gazing at you. You don't pick on... Okay. Ah! Ah! I, why didn't I move? What's wrong with me? Okay, uh... No, I don't want to fight them. My microphone's in the way, so I have to, like, look over it. There we go. Spare the other ones, the Mygops goes away. Doesn't have a care in the world. Spare. There we go, that... Uh, could have gone better, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Press it. Yeah. Clicking sound. See, now we're starting to get into, like, multiple different monsters. It's gonna get even worse. And I think I have to click this one. Yes. Haha. -ha! There's a lot of fights in this. Um, Vegetoid. Dinner. Pat your stomach. Offers a healthy meal. Uh, sure. Eat. Okay, 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 okay. Woo! Okay. Spare. Being me is the best. Like, it seems like with my gossip, once you spare its partner or whoever else is there, it kind of just gives up. <laughs> Which is good, it's fine. I'm fine with that. You want to give up on the fight? That's that's cool. Pacifist run. Uh, genocide run, I will not be as nice. Uh, I can't remember what's over here. It's a fog it. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. They're all- we're all too intimidated to talk to her. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 Givy. You found the toy knife. Um, I'm gonna look at it. I'm not gonna use any of the weapons. I mean, I'll put- I'll equip it if it gives me, like, a bonus or whatever. Made of plastic, a rarity nowadays. See, like, I don't really need to equip that. Um, because I'm not gonna be fighting. I'm not gonna be hitting. So, if it gives me a bonus, like a buff, then, yeah, I'll put them on, but for the most part, I don't need to. Oh, dear. That took longer than I thought it would. Hi. <laughs> She's calling me, and I'm right here. <gasps> How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. <clears throat> uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. You got it. And, boop. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. How long have I been recording for? Okay. We can go on for a little while longer. It's only been a uh, 22 minutes. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Thank you. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay, I've come, goat mom. This is it. A hallway. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh. <laughs> She's patting my head. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. You got it. Yes, goat mom. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> uh... There's not really too much to look at. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes and a disparity of sizes. It's like you can see that she's totally, like, just waiting. Now we go see. And she leaves little butterscotch cinnamon pie for me. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Yay. Go back to see. <laughs> okay. Now let's go say hi. Let's go say hi to goat mom. There's not really a lot down there. I mean, it's just like looking at various things. It's fine. Um, I'm kind of like speeding through this. Hi, hi, Toriel. Hi, Goat Mom. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. It's not a surprise at all. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. No, it's not. 
Still, she's got that, that teacher mom look right now. Look at that. I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, when can I go home? What? This is, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Years Those for Snails. She really likes her snails. Uh, how about it? No, I want to I know how to exit the ruins. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Is that real? Is that true? I, don't, I know nothing about snails. Interesting. I need to know. I have to do something. Stay here. No. No. Go, Mom. Come back. I know exactly where you went, Goat Mom. You try to prevent me from leaving. Stop holding me hostage. Kidnapping. Hi, Goat Mom. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. See, she getting freaky deaky on me. This isn't a horror game, by the way, guys. It's, it's literally not a horror game. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Nope. I am an obstinate little shit. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. She's getting serious. And yes, we had to face Toriel in battle. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. I will, Goat Mom. If I remember, all I have to do is just give her mercy over and over again. No, no, no! Ah! I forgot her stuff. Toriel takes a deep breath. Spare. I just gotta exhaust her. Oh! She's acting aloof. I gotta exhaust her, um, her dialogue. Ah! 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 Toriel! Stop! Stop! Okay. She looks through you. Ah! Ow! Oh, don't touch me. I'm gonna die. Uh, what are you doing? I am trying to survive your attacks that I'm horrible at! Ah! Spare. Attack or run away? No! Ow! Don't kill me. If you're not careful, she can't kill you. She prepares a magical attack. What are you proving this way? I'm proving that you taught me how to do this. Ow! I'm just gonna keep going. Fight me or leave. No! Uh... Ouch! Okay. Stop it! No! Now she's trying not to hit me. She prepares a bit. Stop looking at me that way. No. See, now they won't hit me. They just, I, I, they just avoid me. This is why I didn't want to heal. Go away. No. I'm trying to go away, technically. I'm trying to like, escape. Toriel takes a deep breath. Good job, Toriel. Great fight. Yeah, magical attack. I just gotta literally keep doing this. She's the first boss fight, so it's gonna be like this. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. No. I promise I will take good care of you here. I bet you would, Goat Mom. But I can't. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. That's you. Stop trying to Im Im implement your, your... What is it? Imprint your thoughts or your ideals on me. I have choices. I have opinions. Why are you making this so difficult? Well, because you're trying to force me to stay. Please, go upstairs. No. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. Well, I'm a very willful child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. That's what I've been trying to tell you. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. 
My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Good job. Good job, Mom. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you, although you just tried to stop me. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, she hugged me. Hugs from Goat Mom. <coughs> Goodbye, my child. Bye, Toyel. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Ah, Toriel, Toriel, Toriel. So yeah, that's that's the first boss fight. And it's the simplest one. Uh, I'm down to two health. Let's see if I come across a save spot first. I don't remember. Wowie. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. You told me that already, yeah. Got it. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you ever meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you tire of trying, what will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> All right. I don't remember this. Is this a different dialogue? Yeah. If you do the genocide route, that's a whole different story that a whole different dialogue that you get from him. Like everything's like a lot of things are so so different. Underdale by Toby Fox. Let's go. Dun dun. All I can really think of is, um, what is it, CSI or whatever? Oh, and a cutely interesting little thing. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get any fights before a save point. I don't think. This is cool. This is a cool spot. A really cool uh, thing. See that stick? Boom! Cracked. I love it. Absolutely love. <laughs> it's spooky. So spooky. We just gotta keep going. And. Hey. An actually cool character. I, I gotta figure out what voice I'm gonna do though. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. I don't know what voice to give him. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? I think he's got like that New Yorker kind of voice, but I can't do a New Yorker, New Yorker accent. I can't. That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans a skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I got an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My brother made it the bar so too wide to stop anyone. See, I can't really do his voice. I can't do like a... A good, I'm not good at accents. <laughs> Quick, behind that convenient <laughs> behind that conveniently shaped lamp. It is very conveniently shaped. Boop. Sup, bro. You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. He's got like that Skeletor kind of thing to him. 
You just hang around the house, uh, hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? I can't do voices. I can't do voices. Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. I wanna look. No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, look at all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sands, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. It's a word. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Love it. Sands! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. <laughs> uh, why does someone as great as me have to do so much to just get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. <laughs> Ugh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I love these two. They're great. Okay, you can come out now. Uh, hey. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of it. My hilarious jokes. Yeah, I'm good. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Ooh, hot dogs. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. <laughs> That's the thing with Sans. He says he'll be up ahead, but every, he, so, he says he's going to go one to something, like something that will be on the right, but he always walks left. Or he'll walk the opposite way of where it is, and he ends up there anyway. Okay, let me. Uh oh. What's going? What? What's going on? Okay. <laughs> My analog stick is a little messed up, so it got like touched or something like that. And it was freaking out. Okay. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. It really does. And that's where I'm gonna stop it for today. Um, but no. What do you guys think about it so far? What do you guys think about the the premise of it? I mean. It's literally, you know, like, the whole thing is, we're a human, we fell down into the underground, and now we're trying to figure out how to get home. And so we had to go through the underground, meeting various different creatures, and battling them for the pacifist route. It's talking to them, complimenting them, hugging them. I mean, yes, sweet things, but it is still a challenging game because you do still have to dodge attacks and manage your health wisely, all while not actually hurting them. Um, so once we go through the pacifist route, I will go back and I will play the genocide route and you guys will see how much, how very, very different this game is between the routes. You're going the same path, but everything's different. I can't wait to get to that point, but first things first, we're going to go through the pacifist route. I'm going to get the true pacifist ending, um, in which you have to fight and re-go over things and have to go back. It's a lot of back and forth, but it's worth it. Trust me, it's well worth it. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about it. Leave a like, comment down below. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to get all of my notifications, and let's play again next time. Bye!